I've really enjoyed changing it up and not having as much anabolic foods as possible. Never would have tried this stuff before watching Christian Summer Shredding, but... Welcome to today's full day of eating. I've recently changed up the way I've been eating my meals. It's highly inspired by Christian Guzman's Summer Shredding series. He turned me on to a lot of new things to have in your diet that I kind of missed from being on the anabolic diet for a couple years now. So we're gonna go through a full day. It's gonna be five meals total, and it's gonna be about 200 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, and about 50 grams of fat. So we'll be within five or so grams of each of those macros. We'll total it up at the end, although if you can do the math, you can do the math on your own. But we're gonna get things started here with the first meal of the day. So with no further ado, let's just get right into it. And first up, we're gonna load up the protein, and there's no better way to do that for breakfast than to use some egg whites. We're gonna use 350 grams to get things started. Slightly over, but that's okay. We're not gonna worry about two grams of egg whites, and I know 352 in this case of egg whites is a lot of egg whites, but we wanna start this day off with a ton of protein, and we wanna add in a little bit of fats too. So I'm gonna use this stuff here, our liquid whole eggs. I actually bought these by mistake. I thought this was egg whites, grabbed them real quick in the store, got home, realized they were whole eggs. So I've been adding these in just to get in some healthy fats. We're gonna put in two servings of this, which is essentially two eggs, or 94 grams. And slightly over again, but that's okay. We're not gonna worry about a couple of grams either way on some eggs. This is ready to go, and we're gonna start cooking this as we get on to the second part of breakfast next. And the only way to cook eggs is with a cover. It removes the need to flip or scramble any of the eggs by drawing them into the center. Easiest way I found, you just put it on. If you time it right, you don't have to worry about them burning. We'll see how well I do. I think I have the timing down. I've been doing this for a few weeks now. So let's get these started and we'll go on to the second part of breakfast. And next up, we're gonna be doing some oats as well. After having anabolic French toast for a long time for breakfast, I forgot how much I loved oatmeal. So I got some old fashioned oats here that we're gonna put into this bowl. And today we're gonna be doing 50 grams. So zero at our scale here and we'll start measuring. Forget how hard this is to do vlog style. Pouring, watching the scale, making sure the shot's okay, but we'll get it done. And 51 grams, so we'll take a little bit out. And we got 50 grams on the money. All right, let's put some water in here and get this microwaved and ready to go while our eggs are cooking. We'll time it up perfect so that we can enjoy everything all at once, nice and hot. And as I said, no flippage required here. We got that lid on there. It's cooking the eggs just like they're in an oven. We're gonna get one nice entire cooked circular sheet <laughs> of egg whites and our egg liquid whole eggs. And they're gonna be delicious. And I'll show you why, because we ain't having them plain. And we got our oats out of the micro, but we're not gonna eat them plain, as I said. So let's flavor this up a bit, shall we? And nothing flavors up some oatmeal quite like some chemical syrup. Today we're using the zero calorie Walden Farms. Then of course, nothing goes better with oatmeal than cinnamon, right? So we're dropping some of this in there too. Then you grab your spoon and you mix it all up. Scientific, isn't it? Trigger warning, I saw Christian use this stuff on a lot of his meals, mostly his eggs and oatmeal. We got some, I can't believe it's not butter, the original. They don't make it on the light one, unfortunately, so we gotta go with the original. But it actually does add some pretty decent flavor to oatmeal with cinnamon and chemical syrup, along with some egg whites and eggs that we're about to enjoy along with this. So we're gonna spray this on. And we got our egg whites off the pan. You can see they're steaming up, so they literally just came off the pan. We're gonna flavor these with a little bit of salsa. You can see I did overcook them a little bit. It's a little bit of browning along the bottom part, but that's okay. We're gonna dice it up, and after we put our salsa on there, and our, I can't believe it's not butter, the original, the spray, 
not even gonna notice it. So let's dice, let's spray, let's add some salsa. Here we go. We of course use our negative scale measuring system for three servings or 84 grams of the salsa. Okay, 84 grams on the money, more of our butter spray, right on top of the salsa. And voila, breakfast is ready, let's give it a try. Here's the final product, we got our eggs and egg whites our salsa and we got our oats ready to go a little bit of butter spray some Walden farm syrup and some cinnamon a delicious filling way to get in a ton of protein let's eat it so this is the breakfast I've basically been having for the last five weeks or so it's loaded with protein it's got some healthy carbs in there for you with the oatmeal keeps you satisfied to the next snack which we'll see in a little bit but for now I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you at the next meal Took a while to get that scoop. And we're back. <laughs> I know, I know. We're back for our meal two, which is actually a few snacks. So I'm gonna walk you through what I've been having on most days. One of the things that uh, Christian also turned me on to, <laughs> can already see the comments in the comment section, was having some berries. He has a lot of berries for his carb sources, especially early on in his prep. He was having a lot of blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, that kind of stuff. I like the strawberries, like Greg Doucette likes the strawberries, just because they're lower in calorie, there's more volume, and they're just absolutely delicious. What I have here is 200 grams of cut up strawberries. The strawberries are also washed, so someone needs to let Christian know that you need to wash your fruits. I notice he's always taking them out of the container and eating them. Now maybe off camera, he's already washed them in the container, but it seems like they come straight from the store and eats them right out of the package. You're not technically supposed to do that. You should wash them even if they're organic, but I digress. I'm not gonna worry about that, um, especially with the speculation of other stuff he's been putting in his body. Anyway. I digress again. So we have our 200 grams of strawberries. We have a banana that we're going to have also. Now I know these are really high in carb and they do make the carb count for the day go up really quick, but I like bananas. They taste good. It's a very good fruit. It's got a lot of fiber. That one's a little ripe, but still gonna be okay. So we got two snacks here that are gonna give us a good carb boost for the day. And then we're not having power crunch bars like Christian, but we are gonna have the best tasting protein bar out there on the market, which is the Anna Bar. Specifically, we're having the white chocolate cookies and cream. Code Kenny Fisher saves you 0%, but you should still go buy some more because all the other codes out there will save you 10%. And if you missed out on the Memorial Day sale, Sorry, that was a really good deal. It was like 33% off of Anabars, and that's totally worth it. So, as you saw on my Instagram, I loaded up. Anyway, I digress. Let's get to eating our meal number two, which is our three snacks here, and I will see you for lunch. Love strawberries. As you can tell, doing a lot of my anabolic recipes, a lot of them are sweets, probably 95% of them. So, something like fruit, that you can use to replace, give you a little bit of that sweetness naturally. It's a great method to crush those sugar cravings. I gotta tell you, berries have been working great for that for me. I should also mention, I've been drinking at least one of these, usually two of these a day. One is half a gallon, so I try to get two in a day, but you end up going to the bathroom a lot, so it kinda depends on where you're gonna be. But I do try to get two of these a day, and I don't just put water in them. I've been influenced. <laughs> Never would have tried this stuff before watching Christian Summer Shredding, but I actually gave some of the ghost supplements a try. So the BCAAs, the Sour Patch Kids here, specifically this one, the, the Blue Raspberry, is really good. So Sour Patch Kids, childhood favorite of mine. You give me a drink that tastes like Sour Patch Kids, no problem getting the water intake in for the day. Best tasting BCAAs I've ever had. Haven't tried Greg's yet though, the HTLT BCAAs. Someone in the comments section let me know if that's worth a try. Let me know. But these have been fantastic. So I've been doing one scoop of this and then some days if I need a little extra focus time, I'll use the Ghost Gamer. This is the Cherry Limeade, I think. Yeah, the Cherry Limeade. 
The two combined together actually taste really good and they're actually both really awesome on their own. So again, code Kenny Fisher saves you 0%, but I think you can use code CG if you want to support Christian, so do that. If not, just go grab them at GNC. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish my berries, my banana, and then the best tasting protein bar on the planet and we'll be back for lunch. And we've re-engaged vlog mode here for lunchtime. You can see we're going to use these four ingredients to make something tasty tasty. And here we have meal prepped ground turkey. I think this is 99%, maybe it's 98%. Either way, it's super lean, high protein of course. Then we're going to add some volume with some broccoli slaw. Great hack here to add volume, Chris Bumstead. I think is the one I heard this from, or maybe it was Christian Guzman who heard it from Chris Bumstead. Either way, this stuff is uh, the real deal here. Macros are really good. There's 30 calories a serving here, and you get a ton for that. I think it's 85 grams, and the macros are unbelievable. Obviously, no fat. You get in a good amount of fiber, it's only five carb, and you get two grams of protein. So super good there. We're gonna add a little more flavor to it all with some fat-free mozzarella cheese, which is basically protein cheese. You can see here only 45 calories for 28 grams. That's how much we're gonna use. And of course, it's mostly protein at nine grams and only two grams of carb. And obviously we got uh, zero fat there, you can see. So we'll be using some of that. And then we're gonna flavor everything up with some G Hughes. A little bit of G, we're gonna use two tablespoons, I'm sorry, we're gonna use two servings, which one serving is two tablespoons, so for a total of 20 calories, we're going to have this here that is going to be absolutely delicious. Love the G Hughes sauces, super low calorie and quite flavorful. So let's put this together, we're gonna to pop it in the microwave, and because we meal prepped our ground turkey, it's going to be a super quick and super tasty and super high volume lunch. Let's do it. So I like to layer this a little bit here with the G Hughes sauce. So we're gonna first add in five ounces of our super lean ground turkey. So I'm gonna change this over to ounces here and we're gonna drop in five. I'm gonna get a spoon or else I know I'm gonna spill it all over the place. I'm not gonna worry about that. <laughs> So I'm just gonna toss that in. We're at five ounces right now, but that's not gonna hurt anybody. And it goes 5.33 ounces. And like I said, we're gonna do some layering. So I'm gonna put the first serving of the Jihu sauce over the ground turkey and then mix that up. And then we'll add in the rest of our ingredients and then top it off with our second serving of the Jihu. So here, oh, I'm gonna change it back to grams. And how many grams here? So there's 30 grams in a serving, so fairly decent amount. Give that a mix. This way we get some of that flavor on all of our food. And this bowl, self-admittedly, is gonna to be too small for what we're gonna put into it, but we're gonna go with it anyway. We'll see if it overflows. Okay, and then we're gonna measure out a serving and a half of our broccoli slaw. Now this stuff here, I think one serving's 85, so we'll round down and we'll go with 127. I think it's 127 and a half, but don't have a point scale, so we're just gonna go 127, here we go. Way more than I thought it was, of course. That's not even one serving. Yeah, we're gonna go with one serving today. <laughs> Just because of the bowl. So, change that. I'll adjust the macros accordingly. Not that there's anything in this stuff, it's just to add volume, but our bowl is already spilling over. So, we added in the slaw. Next, you know what we'll do is we're gonna add in our one serving of our fat-free mozzarella cheese, which is 28 grams strands of this plasticky cheese off there. All right, we got 28, 28 grams on the money there. Perfect. Zero that out. Another 30 grams going over the top here and then we're gonna mix it all up. Just get a little bit more of a complete mix. That'll give us some of the cheesiness throughout. That's gonna be good enough for now. We're gonna pop it in the microwave for about 30 to 60 seconds, and then we get to enjoy. 
And through the magic of editing, here we are, our heated up broccoli slaw, ground turkey, G. Hughes sweet and spicy, and some fat-free mozzarella cheese. Cheese is all melted. We got a little bit of steamage coming up out of the bowl. And I know it sounds like a bunch of mashed up ingredients, but all of them mixed up in a bowl, heated up, absolutely delicious. Feels like you're having a nice, big, substantial meal. It's very dense. There's a decent amount of volume. And in my opinion, it's delicious. So if you've never tried it before, highly recommend it. I'm gonna dig in and then I'll see you at the next meal. High protein, cheesy deliciousness. And we're back for meal number four, which is another snack. So let's uh, flip it around here and we'll take a look at what we're gonna have. Probably the closest thing to an anabolic recipe that we're gonna get today, but let's have you take a look. And as you can see, closest thing to our anabolic recipe today is going to be our four rice cakes, for which we are going to turn into Oreo rice cakes, or cookies and cream rice cakes, using our cookies and cream based <laughs> casein protein powder, and what makes everything a little more Oreo-y, our Dutch cocoa powder, and of course we'll add some sweetness with our swerve granular, and we're gonna mix it all together to make that frosting type topping with our almond milk, and along with all of this, that we're going to make as one snack. We also have our 300 grams of watermelon. One thing that Christian was doing during his prep was finding high volume fruits to keep him full. And watermelon does actually have one of the higher volumes for the amount that you get. It's been working out great for me. So I'm going to put together our cookies and cream rice cakes, and then we're going to have these with this as meal number four for our snack. First things first, we need one serving of our cookies and cream casein protein powder, which is 33 grams. And I have tried this stuff on its own. It's like most other things that are cookies and cream flavored. It's underwhelming. However, when you do add your Cocoa Trader black cocoa powder, it does make it way more Oreo-y. <laughs> So I've been adding in five grams along with this, and we do get a little bit closer. Then 120 grams of our almond milk. And you get your Oreo frosting. And then you divide it by four. And that's what you get. And you can actually increase the Oreo-ness by adding on some Swerve Granular over the top. You don't need a lot, so little actually, you don't even need to measure it. Just sprinkle it across the top and it's gonna add a great amount of sweetness. And just like that, it's snack time. <sighs> top of my head's cut off, but I don't care because it's snack time and I'm starving. So we have our cookies and cream rice cakes. <laughs> and our high volume fruit with our watermelon. The watermelon really is key. You get so much for the amount. The calories are super low and it's super filling. Obviously it's mostly water, so that helps, but I'm gonna dig into this and then we only have one meal left. Are you excited to see what it's gonna be? I am, because it's delicious. Which to start with? Let's go watermelon. Did I mention the volume? <laughs> so delicious. I'll try one of these too. No. I'm gonna eat all four, and after this, there's gonna be no problem getting the last meal. Let me tell you, huge amount of volume. The closest thing you'll get to an Oreo and a rice cake. And here we are, last meal of the day. It is dinner time, and you're probably curious what could he possibly be having for dinner after all that volume that he ate during the last snack. Well, it's been a few hours since then. Actually, I am starting to get a little bit hungry here. So with no further ado, let's see what we're having for dinner. I'll take a look right here. Okay, here we are. There you can see 
that tonight we're having fish tacos and I did save a lot of fat calories for this recipe because tacos without full fat cheese and some guacamole just really isn't worth having, especially when it is fish tacos and there's not a whole lot of flavor for our Atlantic cod that we have there. Put on some salt and pepper for a little extra flavor, but we're gonna be putting this and all of this into here we got about seven well i waited before i cooked it but we got seven ounces of the cod there and then we have our full fat sharp cheddar cheese we're going to throw some salsa in there which compared to everything else is going to be basically nothing from a calorie standpoint just a few carbs and then we got some guac here store-bought not homemade unfortunately homemade stuff way better wife makes a mean guacamole wish i had that but this will have to do for tonight so that's what we're gonna be having. We're gonna put this together to cap off our day. All things considering, even with the full fat cheese and the guacamole, still a relatively low calorie meal. So I'm going to assemble these fish tacos and we are going to cap off our full day of eating, flash up the macros for this meal and then for the entire day. All right, let's do it. Got our cheese here that's pre-measured and on the money, of course. One serving, 28 grams. Nice even disbursement. And we're gonna cut up our fish. And last but not least, we finished where we started for the day, which was with our salsa on our egg whites. We're gonna put some salsa on our tacos as well. Would you care to see what they look like? Let's have you see what they look like. And these are they, two fish tacos ready to go. Got the guac you can see in there, the shredded cheese right below the fish, and then some salsa right on top. Oh, these are gonna taste so good. And despite the low calories, still gonna be relatively filling and a great way to cap off the day. So, with no further ado, let's eat and get on to the macros. I have to say overall, this has been a really fun full day of eating. I've really enjoyed changing it up and not having as much anabolic foods as possible, but still working them in as snacks, as little treats, but still having them be higher in protein, higher in volume to help get me to that next meal, but not relying on them throughout the day, like having the French toast and then having an anabolic snack and then an anabolic lunch, another anabolic snack, and I know you don't have to do that, and that's true because you'll probably find that you're not getting enough healthy fats in. But I managed to fill up my macros quite nicely here with these two tacos. I will uh, show the macros for this particular meal right now, and this is what I'm eating tonight. I wanted to cap this off here and just say that hope you all enjoyed watching the full day of eating. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. How are you eating these days? Are you full anabolic? Are you mixing in more, I guess, traditional meals like this with the egg whites, with the fish tacos, with anything that we had today, you eating in a similar way? I really enjoyed it. Here's to our last meal of the day, fish tacos. I'll take one bite, then I'm gonna go eat with the family. Here we go. Love a good seafood meal. This is gonna get it done for me. And you can see here, this is what I had over the entire day. Macros, calories, that's it. And that's gonna be a wrap. Because it is getting to be about that time. I'm being beckoned for dinner, so I'll see you in the next one.